this is an initiative um, by the National Hurricane Center. It's called the Caribbean Hurricane Awareness Tour. What it initially does is to have islands get a better sense of what is expected um, during hurricane season. It actually kicking off the 2024 hurricane season. This year we're expecting an above average season. We are chosen as one of the four Caribbean islands to be visited uh, this time around. So we're taking the opportunity to have schools visit and any other interested persons. I'm so excited to meet you, Michael, and we're yes, excited to too. have you here in St. Lucia. I just want you to tell us a little bit more about the aircraft and about your arrival here today. Sure, yeah, so we're here as part of the, the 2024 Caribbean Hurricane Awareness Tour, so it's a week-long tour. This is one of the stops, and it's really designed to raise awareness. You know, hurricane season, as you mentioned, is coming up in just a few weeks. Everybody here in St. Lucia needs to be ready to be affected uh, throughout the entire season. And regardless of what any seasonal forecast might say, it only takes one storm affecting your area to make it a busy season for you. Exactly. So that's, that's the message we need to get to everybody. I would love for you to tell us a little bit about NOAA. Yes, the, the operation, I would love to hear some more about it. Absolutely, so NOAA stands for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and within it, it has the National Weather Service, and within that is the National Hurricane Center. So we'll start there because they're really the ones that get the whole hunter thing going. Um, they're looking out to the Atlantic, to the Pacific, to see any indication of storm development. Once they see that that happens and they're calling upon either the Air Force or NOAA's Aircraft Operations Center. Accomplish a similar mission, NOAA has the added benefit of having a research element to it as well. So not only are we doing the same uh, tasking as the C-130s do, but we uh, also hope to understand a little bit more about the hurricanes as well. Typically we will hit the uh, outer four corners, the inner four corners of the eye wall, and then the center point. It starts with the drop sonde. They will launch this. It drops down, collects all the weather data, and the weather load uses his terminal here to compile all that data, clean it up, and send it over to our airborne meteorologist called an ARWO, Airborne Weather Reconnaissance Officer. They sit here and they basically take that and their meteorology background, clean up the data, and put it into what the weather professionals in Miami need and they will send it to them in real time. You can reduce the amount of uh, like cry wolf issues where people get told to evacuate. They evacuate, they spend time and money, the storm doesn't hit, then the next time they say evacuate, they don't evacuate. So the more often we can get people more accurate information, the more likely they're going to be in the future when we tell them, hey, you need to leave to actually go and do that. So that's the, the value added that we have for, uh, for the mission. I'm so excited that you guys are here. I think just hearing about the flight, I think I was more infused, you know, like a child right. gets to get on a plane for the first time. So if there was one message that you could leave with the persons who will be watching this interview, what would it be? Um, it would be that uh, the information that you're getting from your local news here about hurricanes and, and what their predicted paths are and what kind of action that they would like for you to take, whether it's, you know, to take cover, move more inland or evacuate if, if possible. But that data is real time. It is coming straight from our aircraft to the National Hurricane Center and we're on the phone with them from the airplane. So it's real. It's not something that they're doing to, they're not guessing and they're not trying to do that to, to scare anybody or, or to cover them for liability. They are seriously giving you real time data. So take it, take it very seriously. This experience, I think, is a very good one, especially we're exposing our students for, with, the, with the U.S. Air Force. It's very complicated, very risky, but however, having persons know and get the feel of what it was like is a very good experience, and I hope that um, this is something that can be done more often and more, that our students can be more educated. Thank you so much for the experience, and thank you for coming to give us what you have so far. My experience on the U.S. aircraft was very good. I hope science and geography students will love it. 